Hello everyone, it's Retro Console time and today we'll be taking a look at one of the greatest and most innovative systems out there, the Super Nintendo Entertainment System, or the SNES. The SNES was released in 1991 in the U.S. of freaking A. Of course it was released in 1990 in Japan, some will say. But I won't talk about that until I get my hands on a Super Famicom. It was released in... In a way, it was released as Nintendo's answer to the Sega Genesis. Sega at the time was dominating the market as the NES was slowly dying out. Once the SNES hit the market, the Genesis went to war with the SNES and started something known as the 16-bit war. It was the SNES versus Genesis, Sega versus Nintendo, Mario versus Sonic, while the TurboGrafx-16 took a back seat in the car. Now, let's take a look at what the console looks like. The main colors are gray, purple, and more purple. And some more gray. Yeah. They could have chose some better colors for the design, but it gets the job done. Another thing to note is that if you had discoloration, the ABS plastic in the Super Nintendo would turn yellow, and it would look like this. Now, let's talk about how the games looked. The games were in 16-bit graphics, and uh, here's an example of some 16-bit graphics. Now that's what you call good gaming. And for the most part, their library of games is pretty good. Don't get Shaq Fu though. Shaq Fu sucks. Well, now since I'm done reviewing, what do I give the console? I give it a solid 10 out of 10. The graphics are great, even for today's standards, in my opinion at least. If you give a kid this, they will love it. My cousins, who are raised in this tech generation, love the Super Nintendo. Alright, see you guys later. Next time on Retro Console Time, we will be reviewing... Super Mario World! Duh. See you later.
Consequences will never be the same! You done goofed!